Bismillah, alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salam ala rasulullah, brothers and sisters, salamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes mention the holy Qur'an, wa lillahi al-asma'ul husna, fad'uhu biha. To Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala are the beautiful names. So ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and supplicate to Allah azza wa jal with those beautiful names. And today insha'Allah we'll talk about another beautiful name, powerful name from the names of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, al-jabbar. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala attributes and ascribes to himself the attribute of Al-Jabbar, Al-Azizu, Al-Jabbar, Al-Jabbar, the strong one, Al-Jabbar, the compeller, Al-Jabbar, the most powerful one, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the Jabbar, he's the one that does whatever he wants, however he wants, whenever he wants, and that's why he's the Jabbar. No one can stop him, no one can block him, no one can get in his way, subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's why he is the compeller, the Jabbar. He'll destroy anyone. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala resurrect anyone. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revive anyone. No one can stand before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala unless Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants. That's why he is the Jabbar. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one that decrees whatever he wants. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will execute however he wants. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will make happen whatever he wants. That's why he is the Jabbar. Al-Jabbar, the one that decrees what happens in this world and the affairs of this dunya. And we as believers, as Muslims, we need to connect our hearts to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as the Jabbar. That whatever happens in this world is in the hands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's not out of the hands of Allah. And sometimes things might happen in this dunya, not in the way that we would like to see them, but it's all part of the wisdom of Allah azza wa jal. And it's all part of the jabarut of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Part of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala being the jabbar, the compeller, that does whatever he wants, however he wants. If Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants something, إِنَّمَا أَمْرُهُ إِذَا أَرَادَ شَيْءٍ يَقُولِ لَهُ Kun fayakun. It is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's decree. When Allah azza wa jal decrees on any matter, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will only say, be, and it will happen. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will command, be, and it will happen. And no one can block this to happen. And no one can stop this to happen. And that's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the Jabbar. Yes, He is the Jabbar. If you are oppressed, now that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is watching. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, as part of his attribute as the Jabbar, the compeller, Allah azza wa jal, will make the weak one the strong one, and the strong one the weak one, because he is the Jabbar. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will turn happiness into sadness, and sadness into happiness, because he is the Jabbar. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will turn easy moments into hard moments, and hard moments into easy moments, because he is the Jabbar. So my brother and my sister, if you are encountering any predicament in your life, know that it's all in the hands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because he is the Jabbar. He decrees whatever he wants, however he wants. Sometimes Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala puts us through tests and trials to test us. But at the end of the day, whatever eventuates, whatever unfolds after it, it's all in the hands of Allah azza wa jal. Not yours, not mine, not anyone's. Even when you are being oppressed by an oppressor, even if you are encountering any form of injustice, Allah is the Jabbar. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will turn things around. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did for the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did for the previous nations. Where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made those who are in weak state to become the strongest. Those that were losing to become the victorious. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran al-Karim. كَمْ مِنْ فِئَةٍ قَلِيلَةٍ غَلَبَتْ فِئَةً كَثِيرَةً بِإِذْنِ اللَّهِ in how many cases where a small number of people will defeat a greater number of people. Why? Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the Jabbar, the compeller that does whatever he wants, whenever he wants, however he wants. So connect your heart to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and remember that Allah azza wa jal is the Jabbar. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one that changes whatever he wants, whenever he wants, however he wants. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one that controls the affairs of this world and the affairs of mankind. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us from amongst those who understand the great name of Allah, the Jabbar, the compiler. Ameen ya Rabbil Alameen. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. person's destiny Shall I in Jenna, 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 Jenna.